You want to know the worst part about a TV hiatus? The waiting game. Waiting is just the worst part. Because it feels like it goes on and on and on. So basically, if I didn't have Ruby, this would be a whole lot harder. Harbor. This would be a whole lot harder. If I didn't have Ruby, this would be a whole lot harder to deal with. Because Flash, Arrow, whatever, they don't come back for another, like, almost two weeks. And Gotham comes back next week. Please, WBTV, don't give me any crap with Gotham. <sighs> we'll worry about that next week. Well, this is Ruby, Volume 2, Chapter 2. I almost said Chapter 1. Oh, I'm so, I am so freaking invested in this show. It's not even funny. Okay, I don't have much to say for the opening, so let's just dive right in, people. New intro? Was this in the first episode? I don't think so. I love the music. I kind of like this intro. Oh, shit. What if I don't want to say goodbye? What if I want to say hello? Oh, I, mean, I like this intro, though. Damn. What are we doing? Where are we going? Oh, never mind. Ironwood certainly loves bringing his work wherever he travels. Well, running an academy in the military makes him a busy man. But yes, those are a bit of an eyesore. Uh oh. Okay. And you are. <laughs> it's been too long. And Glinda, it has certainly been too long since we last met. Oh, James. I'll be outside. I don't trust him already. He has an untrustworthy face. So, what in the world has brought you all the way down from the Apples? Headmasters don't typically travel with their students for the Bible Festival. Well, you know how much I love Vale this time of year. Besides, would you host him? I thought this might be a good opportunity for us to catch up. I can certainly appreciate Paul. Nah, he's, I feel like he has ulterior motives. However, for showing up. Outside my window has been somewhat not concerned. just a catch up. Well, concern is what brought me here. But I understand travel between kingdoms has become increasingly difficult. Oz, you and I both know why. We are in a time of peace. Shows of power like this. I'm just going to give off the wrong impression. But if what Pro said is true, if what Pro said is true, then we will handle it tactfully. It's the Vital Festival, a time to celebrate unity and peace. So I suggest you not scare people by transporting hundreds of soldiers halfway across the continent. I'm just being cautious, as am I. Mm. Which is why we will continue to train the best huntsmen and huntresses. Yeah, I don't trust him. Believe me, I am. He's shady. Yeah, that, 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 that might just be who he is, but... Do you honestly believe your children can win a war? Yeah, I do. I hope they never have to. Ah, oh, study time in the library. This isn't study time, this is game time. I like game time. What game is this? 
Mm -hmm. Never mind, I don't want to know. What kind of game is this? I'm so confused, but at the same time, I'm so intrigued. Oh, wow, this just got interesting. <laughs> Why well, he's just like, shut up, make your damn move already. Is that gum or oh no, it's drool. Gross. <laughs> Who's throwing stuff? Oh, them. Me either. That sounds confusing. Did you lose Ruby? Uh, okay. I'm still confused. Oh, don't cry. Oh god, the game went to our head. Wait, what? Huh? I can't hate it because I don't even know what the fuck it is. Why do they love that? Me as fuck, dozing off. Does it have to be four people? I want. I, I want to see him play. What is she doing? Oh. What's wrong with me and her? Okay, thank you. I'm Neptune. So Neptune. Nice hair. Where are you from? Haven. And I don't believe I've cut your name, Snow Angel. Um, I'm wise. Are you kidding me? Pleasure to meet you. I never took you as the board game playing type. Right. Well, I think I'm done playing actually. I don't think she's the board game playing type. Uh, she's having flashbacks of when she and the team went against Roman in the White Fang. I'm sure that after a night of thwarting attempted robbery, you probably just want to go home and take a nap. There's another flashback? I was hoping that maybe we could have a chance to talk. Of course. Wonderful. As you know, in order to enroll at my academy, students must first pass a rigorous entrance exam. Most mm -hmm. applicants spend years of preparation training at one of the many combat schools around the world. You are one of the few who did not. And you passed the exam with flying colors. Mm -hmm. I was raised outside the kingdoms. If you can't fight, you can't survive. Well, you have most certainly survived, Blake. I admire your drive. And I am proud to run a school that accepts individuals from all walks of life. Rich, poor, human... And bonus. Oh. Why do you wear that bow, Blake? Why hide who you are? You may be willing to accept the funnest, Professor Ospin, but your species is not. True. So he knew. But we are continuing to take strides to lessen the divide. With all due respect, you need to start taking some larger strides. 
Damn. Any unnecessary attention. I want people to see me for who I am, not what I am. And what are you? I I don't understand what you're asking. How did you know the White Fang would be at the shipyard tonight? I didn't. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. You wouldn't have been the first. But what happened tonight was not an isolated incident. I may be your headmaster, but I am also a huntsman. And it is my sworn duty to protect this world from the forces that conspire against it. Blake, are you sure there is nothing else you would like to tell me? She goes, I know. I'm sure. Very well. Thank you for your time, Ms. Belladonna. Um. Would you like to talk to me? Please don't hesitate to ask. Why does he remind me of Dumbledore? <coughs> So wise. Oh, you should have never let him play. <laughs> You're just mad because the new guy beat you. He let him play? You just attacked oh, and he beat you? This would have happened. Stop. Oh, God. What Maybe now? You've been quiet, antisocial, and moody. Uh, have you met Blake? Which I get. It's kind of your thing. But you've been doing it more than usual. Which, quite frankly, is unacceptable. You made a promise to me. To all of us. Mm. That you would let us know if something was wrong. That's true. <laughs> Like Belladonna. Oh shit. What is wrong? <laughs> I, this is why I love Weiss. Just tell him, Blake. I don't understand how everyone can be so calm. You're still thinking about Torchwick? Torchwick? The White Fang? All of it. Something big is happening and no one is doing it. Huh, just wait till I you meet Cinder. Well, I can't really judge Cinder. I've only seen her for like five seconds. They don't know the White Fang like I do. Okay, between blowing up nightclubs, stopping thieves, and fighting for freedom, I'm sure the three of you think you're all ready to go out and apprehend these ne'er do wells. But let me once again be the voice of reason. We're students. We're not you're ready the voice of reason? Sort of situation. Well, yeah, but <laughs> we're not ready. And we may never be ready. Our enemies aren't just going to sit around and wait for graduation day. They're out there somewhere planning their next move and none of us know what it is but it's coming whether we're ready or not she's got a point okay all in favor of becoming the youngest hunter since the single handedly bring down the corrupt organization conspiring against the kingdom of Vale. speak slower yes i love it when you're feisty well i suppose it could be fun none of you said i all right then i we're in this together guess let's hatch a plan yeah I left my board game in the library. Poor Zoom. Is that a bad thing? What happens if you get caught? Oh, what did you run into? Oh, sorry. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Just watch where you're going. <gasps> no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad bitch. Bad I'm Ruby. boy bitch. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, for fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Run, Ruby, Ruby, run. I'm, oh, God. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. I guess we just got turned around. Cinder, what is Cinder doing there? Uh, your building is just east of here. Thanks. Maybe we'll see you around. No. Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, and welcome to Beacon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Did not see that coming at all. Like, we started out on a happy note, they're playing a game in the library, a game I had no idea what the fuck that was, but it was kind of intriguing. And then we get that scene with Ozpin and Blake. He seems like a Dumbledore to me. Like, he gives me that Dumbledore vibe. And, um... But yeah, that ending, I did not expect that. Like, we're starting off all happy, and then Weiss. Ruby was my favorite at first. Oh, she still is, but oh, Weiss is a close second. Might even become my second favorite. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I just love Weiss so much. Like, at first I was like, you're such a bitch, Weiss. Well, she is a bitch. That's just who she is. But, like, I love her so much. I love her feistiness. But... But yeah, that ending, I did not see that coming. Like, as soon as Ruby's like, oh shit, I left my board game in the library, gotta go. So she's like, okay, just like, be careful, don't get caught. Next thing you know, she runs into someone. I thought she ran into like, son, or his, I think it's his brother, dude with the blue hair. I think. 
But anyway, she runs into someone, I'm like, oh god, who'd you run into? And the as soon as we see them, I'm like, oh, fuck, Ruby, no, they're bitches, get away from them, go, run, hide, don't talk to them. But no! And guess who's with them? Cinder! What is Cinder doing there? I mean, I kind of figured those two would show up eventually, they're gonna blend in and pretend to be all good-looking students. But Cinder? What the fuck is she doing there? What is she, what is her end game? Well, nothing good. Nothing good at all. Oh, but yeah, that ending I never saw coming. Well, that was Ruby, Volume 2, Chapter 2. Wow, what an ending, people. <laughs> well, that is it for now. Hope you all enjoyed my reaction, and I will see you guys next time.